Welcome back to Let's Play Snailhead. In the last video, we defeated Stompy. Stompy. And in this video, we can finally break down red doors. I see a red door and I want to paint it multiple colors. Oh boy, I do not have the jumping prowess to get through here. But I do know how to fix that. We shall go do so, right now. But first, we shall heal. Because, well, we didn't take much damage from Stompy. But we did take damage from falling in that lava, or fire water, or maybe it's just regular death water that they dyed red. I wouldn't put it past the developers of this game. They have a fondness for death water. Yay, I'm a hero! Oh boy. Can we break these walls now? Yes, we can. Can we hurt these things? Yes, we can. And they can't hurt us unless they're fiery, in which case they can still hurt us. Ooh, what's this? No, I can't jump high enough to get the high jump. Yes. Yes, this is a very important power-up. Not the most important, but definitely a good one to have. If you don't have it, a lot of parts of this game won't be reachable. I don't know if you need it to complete the game, but it certainly helps. Actually, no, you do need it to complete the game, because there is parts that call for something even better than high jump. And I'd figure you wouldn't be able to reach them without having high jump. So, disregard that. This is an essential item. Let's go up here. Ooh, Snail Town. I have a feeling we've been here. I have a feeling we were upside down for a second. Oh, speaking of... wait, what? Okay, so we don't lose items when we load from Snail Town. Let's see what Cave Snail has to say. He's a cool guy. Thorgle Borgle to you, Cave Snail. Anyway, I see a sort of secret right here. It wasn't very secret, because I could see it. Ooh, Isis the Goddess Snail. If we collect all of them, we get a prize of some sort. I'm not sure. Let's break down everything that ever was made. Ooh, we're back in Mare Corellia. I think we've been here, actually. Yes, we've definitely been in this room. Heh <laughs> He dropped. Again. And now we can get through here. But that's not what we're coming for. What we want is this way. It's a Helix Fragment! Yes, that tree could be chopped down with laser beams. Hmm. Let's keep going this way, because I'm not so sure that we've gotten everything. Yes, yes, there was. Haha! -ha! The treasure below Snail Town has been discovered. Ew! Fresh slime? I don't want anything of that, but I do want the heart container. What the? How many layers is this one secret? I mean, okay, first of all, there was the fact that we had to go under Snail Town, then we had to break this tree, and then we had to cling to the ceiling. That was the best hidden secret I've ever seen in a game. Except for Arkham Asylum. That one was slightly better. Okay, let's... I'm not so... I'm sure you can get through here without having to go that way. It just requires a bit of sequence breaking. Or can you? I'm pretty sure you can. Now I don't even know where it was. Yeah, I'm... Yeah, I am not so sure anymore. Oh well, let's go this way. There might be something good over here. Like, let's say... A wall we can break down now! Alright, what's over here? Ooh, a save point. And... Amistrita Abyssus. Yeah, let's not go that way. There must be something else that we can do. Hmm... Yeah, I see a few things. Let's go check them out. We want to get every upgrade we can as early as we can because the game gets difficult later on and in certain modes of this game it's essential to get items early on or else you will get slaughtered what the okay this wall isn't even solid what am I talking about hmm what's going on over here something silly okay what's this guy got to say heading to the lower left part of the map well, thank you for that. There. Well, come on. Yeah, I'm gonna leave you there. You deserve that. 
Sometimes you'll miss a secret if you cling to a wall. Or alternatively, sometimes you'll reach a secret from clinging to a wall. Hmm. Red doors. Ah oh, yes, the rainbow wave truly is amazing. I'm not going to comment on that because I will get many hate mail. Zuh. I will get much hate mail. That's what I meant to say. But then... Oh my, it seems we are low on battery. Let me just take a slight moment to correct this issue, and we will be right back. I can swear there's something up there. Well, it seems as if in my absence, we've not only managed to fall down here, but we've also managed to land directly on a piece of grass. And accidentally shell shield our way to avoid taking damage. Well, isn't that nice? I wish all games could be so polite. Hmm. Let me see. Where were we headed? Uh... Alright, we we should be able to grab a few things. Not everything we wanted, because we don't quite have the greatest of the great upgrades. That's for later. Let's just go in here and leave immediately, because we can. And spam our rainbow wave, again, just because we can. Get out of the way, you silly slime. I keep pressing the button on my microphone, which may or may not be muting me. Oh well, it seems to be working. Alright, now if I remember correctly, coming up soon should be a red door. I wonder if there's anything good behind it. Only time will tell. Oh come on, we have the rainbow wave, why can't we just break that? Game, you are so silly. Speaking of things we can't break with the rainbow wave, these guys! Ooh, a heart container. This is a must, we want it. Our container number four, that should give us 28 pieces of health. That is important to have. I can't stress this enough. Having health in a certain mode of Snailiad will help you a lot. Anyway, I think that should be the last thing we can get that really matters in this area. There are more doors that we can't open at the moment, but... Well, we can't open them at the moment. That's all there really is to say about that. Let's move along. Get out of my way, Blobs. I don't even care if you hurt me. I am just getting out of here as fast as I can. Because we have been stuck in Mare Corellia for too long. And even though I love the music, it is time to go. Don't forget, press X to shoot. We have not forgotten. We just used our ability to shoot to get out of here. And go down to Spilaris Soleri. Hmm, there's something important looking over there. And by that, I mean, well, where is he going? Alright, alright, yes, there is an important place to go to, but we are not near it yet. Sorry, I confused that for somewhere else. Alright, let's just move along to the last secret we should go to before going to Abyssus Amadala or whatever it was called. I honestly forgot. It is probably my least favorite zone because of its generic look and... I suppose the music is better than, you know, Spilaris Solari grows on you. The Abyssus area, that's just not very catchy in the slightest. Anyway, let's just try to get through here without dying, even with our improved jump ability and health. Yes, the improved jump really helps for areas like that. Platforming is difficult if you don't have the jump prowess. Hmm, I think there's one thing that we can look at, but not quite get. There we go. Yes, that's a green door that we cannot currently reach. Well, we can reach it, but can't get through it. If we could get through it, that would be nice. Yes, yes, we've seen this all before. Let us just avoid this area entirely, walk right through enemies that we could jump over. Yeah, I came to eat those words. Gross. Anyway. Hmm. There shouldn't be anything standing between us and going this way. Now, there's one thing that we need to get before we go to the last area. Well, I say that, but this could be a completely pointless Easter egg. I don't even remember what it is that I'm going for. I uh, just remember, something good is over here. Go for it. There is something important. Ooh. It's another Helix Fragment. That was worth getting. Also worth getting, for reals, 
It's this silly little fellow. He is angry. I do not know why. They never say why he's angry, but he is. Oh, it is 10 minutes into the video, and we have made no progress in Abyssus. Um, uh, a la peanut butter sandwiches. Yes! Why don't we head there right now? Wow. Oh, it's, I just said wow, and he said wow. It's like we're soulmates, dude. The improved jump height would have helped in this boss fight. Well, I say that, but it wouldn't have, because he's invincible when he's hiding up there. I just say whatever comes to mind, even if it's completely false. Amistrada Abyssus. Yes. This area requires a lot of platforming. It is no fun for anyone involved. Though there are some secrets. And green doors that we can't access at the moment. And enemies that damage us for quite a bit. Come on, hop up here. Oh, not in the lava. Fire. I think it's just fire, not even water at all. At all. It's not even a liquid. Lava is not water. In fact, is lava a liquid? I suppose it is, because it's melted rock. It just moves slowly. Come on, get out of my way, Castlevania birds. You don't even have knockback. You're being silly. Move. Move. I do not like you. You are not my friend. Yeah. Blue. Sand. Indigo. All you shades of blue are terrible. I said that blue was a shade of blue. What is wrong with me? Water. Seahorse. Also, I can't for the life of me place why they have a water-themed area in their fire zone. This entire area just seems out of place, and I can't quite get... Hello, there's something over here. Or not. Maybe I just jumped off a wall and thought, Oh, her! There must be something here! Lol, 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 lol. Though I do believe that there are Easter eggs here, I'm not sure where they are. Maybe that's because I'm just an idiot. Well, no, not Easter eggs, but secret passages. Which, again, I'm not going for, so there's another thing that I can just ignore. Alright, here's a green door that will speed up getting to and from areas. But since we cannot break it, we cannot access it and reap its benefits. Wow. They just throw these guys around like they're chocolate pudding, which is an object that gets thrown around often by everyone who ever uses it. You know, I think I really should see a psychiatrist. The, th the stuff I say is just... I must be criminally insane. Not to be confused with the Crazy Fat Ethel prequel, which I did think was kind of freaky, but the very dated, I will give it that. I just jumped right into that. Well, considering we're 13 minutes in, and I'm starting to make progress, that seems like a perfect place to cut the video. I will see you all next time where we accomplish things. I just realized I ended two videos in this one room. That really goes to show how little progress we made in this episode.